Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today is my first day of work at my part-time job and I realized that I didn't even explain what this job is, but I made a whole video. So if you guys want to watch that and just get more details about what I'm doing here in Athens, then I will have that link down below. I actually traveled to Athens, Georgia, where I'm going to be training. The company is actually headquartered in Athens, which is crazy because my boyfriend actually went to UGA and I'm from Atlanta. So like it all worked out and it's like weird how it worked out. I'm glad to be back in a familiar place and I'm staying in a hotel right now. Um, just got here, kind of just like unpacked some stuff. I need to get like my work stuff out because um, I don't know if I needed like my important papers. So I just brought it like the birth certificate and all that stuff. My hair is a little bit crazy because of my headphones and like everything traveling and stuff like that. Um, I took a plane from Austin to Atlanta and then a shuttle from Atlanta to Athens. It was honestly really easy, which like, thank God, because I just was a little nervous about the shuttle. I didn't want to like miss it or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna meet my boss, I think, downstairs in the lobby and we're gonna go walk over to the office. I'm home for my first day of work. I look like crap because I've been walking in like the um, rain. It wasn't like raining, but it was like drizzling. So I picked up um, food for tonight's dinner. I went to De Palma's. I just saw Italian food on Yelp and I was like, yeah, that sounds like really good right now. So I got that and then I went to CVS because Ryan sent me a picture of my toothbrush and I was like, dang it, like I forgot my freaking toothbrush. So. I went to grab a travel one and then I might have bought mini Kit Kats, you know, maybe. <laughs> I'm actually starving right now. I literally had like 20 blueberries before I went to work and that's all I had today. So I was super, super sleepy during training. Like I felt like my eyes were watering, but I was trying so hard to pay attention, but I was like up since like five. So it's been a long day. Um, and the work doesn't stop here because I'm going to edit my work week in my life um, And I have like an hour's worth, worth of footage or even more um, That I need to I want to get up today because it's the vlog that I say like I got a job I just want to like tell people already um, At least on like my social media and stuff So especially because like I'm here in Athens and I just want to like post it on my social media like I got a job y'all um so i'm gonna try to do that before the bachelor um i definitely need to wash my hair i need a shower and i'm thinking like i really want to shower before i eat because i just like to feel clean like and get in my comfy clothes and just chill but i'm like so hungry right now today was just pretty much training meeting people um like talking about what i'm gonna be doing a little bit tomorrow it's just gonna be more training and more talking about like ideas and stuff like that um and then wednesday it's actually going to be getting the content around the corporate office some of you may know that i worked with the university of central florida which is where i went to school and thank god i worked there because i'm finding a lot of like similarities between the two um because they're more like corporate jobs they have like clouds where you like put the projects that you're working with and I would have never known that if I didn't work in like a corporate job before this um, and I would have been like so much more confused than I am today so thank god that I had that um, past experience. There were a couple other things that I kind of just like knew of um, maybe like Outlook and and some of that stuff but oh my god I don't think I told you guys this because I didn't really talk today um, but they gave me a macbook pro and i'm so freaking excited because literally during my interview or maybe not my interview but the onboarding call when they told me i got the job they told me that they were going to give me a dell computer and not to sound ungrateful or like anything like that but i've been using mac since i want to say middle school and it would just be such a hard transition 
I could do it. I was going to do it. I was going to make do, but it would be such a hard transition. It would make me 100% slower. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to be using Premiere, not Final Cut, which I'm very, very fluent in. Um, but Premiere is actually something I learned from my last job at UCF. So again, thank God for UCF for giving me that job. Um, well, it was an internship, but you know, whatever job, because I got paid. So I was really, really worried about first working on Adele and getting back into Premiere because I haven't used Premiere since I um, finished my internship, which was in May. Um, so I was just really, really worried that I would be a little bit slower than usual. And then um, when I got there, I saw like my Mac, but it was like covered with like a paper on top. So I didn't know if it was like a Dell that looked like a Mac because I know there are like computers that look a little similar. It was just silver, you know, it could have been a Dell. But then I saw like the ports on the side and I was like, is that a Mac? And she was like, oh yeah, like I forgot to tell you, we got you a Mac. And I was like, holy crap, like thank you. Because that was just a big worry of mine, just being like slow and like inefficient. So I'm just so thankful that they understood my needs. They just understood that video editing, you know, could be better on a Mac. Not saying that Dells are bad for editing, but I don't know, they asked their IT guy and the IT guy told him to give me a Mac. So that was pretty much my first day at work. Um, my boss is super cool and my boss's boss is also really cool. Everyone in the creative team is just really friendly and nice. So overall it went well. Um, and hopefully I'll try to vlog a little bit more clips throughout the week. Um, definitely on Wednesday when I'm gonna get the content, hopefully I can get some more clips. But I'm starving so I'm gonna take a few bites and hop in the shower. Good morning y'all, it is Tuesday. It is currently like 8 a.m. and I have to be at the office at 9 a.m. Um, the office is super, super close to the hotel that I'm staying at, which is nice. They start working at 9 a.m. every day, so if I were to work back in Austin, I'd probably just start at 8 because I like getting up early for a purpose and I like getting things just out of the way for the day, especially because I'm part-time. Um, I can start working at 8 and then be finished a lot earlier and get some YouTube stuff done, freelancing, anything like that. So that'll be good and we'll probably like make my tentative schedule uh, today or tomorrow. Um, but I forgot what we're doing today. She actually had a whole schedule for me. It was so cute. It was like this little um, graphic on a piece of paper and it was adorable. I think today we're setting up my computer um, because there was something wrong with like my email and like I couldn't get into like the Outlook and stuff. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm trying to think what else. I can't really remember right now. But um, I'll try to vlog a little bit more today. Like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So might be hard if I'm like with other people. I think me and my boss are going to dinner tonight, which is nice because I think I told you guys this, but maybe not. Um, I only have like one friend that I can remember that still goes here. I mean, there are probably other people that I know that I can reach out, but um, her name's Simran and we actually did like Indian pageants together when we were younger. So that's how I met her and she's still here at UGA. So I reached out to her and we're going to get dinner tomorrow night. So yesterday was like the only night that I was like lonely, but honestly I had bachelor and like I had like this video I wanted to get up. Um, also speaking of videos, I am so freaking sad because I literally vlogged a whole work week in my life like getting my headboard it was so cute and like getting my job like it was literally the week that I negotiated my job and stuff and it was just like everything was in that vlog. I checked my computer the project was nowhere to be found because I already imported the footage to a project and it was nowhere to be found and I checked like my backups and so I did make the project but I don't know if I like deleted the project or what and like then I found the backup and then obviously the files were missing so I had to like have the footage to like you know import back in like re-import. I didn't bring all my SD cards here but I checked all of the ones I had and they didn't have anything because they were like formatted for other events and so I asked Ryan if he could go through all my SD cards which was really nice of him because I know that's like annoying to do. Um, and so he did and he couldn't find anything. So I'm thinking that it was on one of my SD cards that I have here and I just formatted it. But literally it's so weird because every time I format a card, I literally check everything. Um, like the pictures, are they all in Lightroom? Um, the videos, are they all in a project where they need to be? So like I can't really remember deleting all that footage. I just can't. So... I don't know, I'm just really sad about it because I thought that vlog was going to be so good and I was literally waiting for me to like come to Athens and like actually put it up. 
um, because like, I don't know, I just want it to be like more official. I didn't want the people at work to think I was like weird talking about my job before I like actually was in the job, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm really, really sad about that, but you know, maybe it was fate that I didn't post it for some odd reason, I don't know, but I put up like um, just explaining what I'm gonna be doing in this role, so I'll link that down below. Um, and just some other questions. Today I'm wearing this shirt. I don't think I'm like the biggest fan of it, but like it works and it's like unique and whatever. Um, and then I'm just wearing my black pants. It's like really cold outside, so I need to like bundle up, but I really only brought my puffer, but like that'll do. <laughs> um, and my hair is natural today. It's like weird. It's literally like not wavy. It's not straight. It's like weird. Um, I could have strained it, but I was just like, you know what, let's just not put heat on it for one day. I'm going to go get breakfast, so I'm not late to work. Actually, I'm going to save going to the market for lunch. I'm just going to take this for breakfast. I actually brought these berries from home, so didn't have to spend money on that. It is 12.17, and I'm sorry about the banding. Um, the lighting is just going to be horrible in this video because hotel rooms don't usually have the best light um, But I'm at my lunch break. I have to be back at like 1245 So I have a little time to eat and then get my camera because I think I'm gonna shoot around the office today um, And get some content. I got chicken tenders from Golden Pantry Market. It's like right under the mark I think and Look at this gem Well beauty guru actions with my honey mustard I don't know if you guys recognize this, but for me, this is the honey mustard that I had in like high school and middle school with chicken tenders. And literally this honey mustard is like the best honey mustard in the world. So when I saw that, I was like real hyped about it. Um, so today, oh, I don't know. T okay, today I finally got into my email. So that's all squared away. Um, we've just been really talking about more like what content I'm gonna get. I'm sorry, that's like on an angle, but. I'm resting you on my purse, so you'll just have to deal. But um, we've been just trying to look at some other like content that they want me to get um, and talk about scheduling for the next couple of weeks. And I feel like there's just so much more, like so much to even learn and all that. Um, but I mean, my training is probably gonna go into next week like, cause they want me to obviously make my trip worthwhile, like get content while I'm here. So they don't wanna take up all my time doing training. So I'm gonna be doing like screen share and stuff um, when I'm home. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my food now cause I'm starving. I'm walking back over to work, my backpack and camera stuff, ready to get some content. to be six and my boss is actually gonna pick me up she stayed late at work and we're gonna go get sushi at this place called chucks i'm really excited i'm always out for sushi <laughs> Hey, I'm Kelsey. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday and it is my last day here in Athens. Tomorrow morning, I'm headed back to Austin. Um, but it's kind of been nice being in a hotel. And like, I really thought I would be so lonely, but I feel like it was kind of nice just to, you know, have some time to myself just to like literally watch YouTube and just chill. Um, and also just like, focus on like editing videos and all that stuff. Today we are going to get so much content around the office. Um, I know I'm going to interview one of the employees there uh, and I think it's just like a content day. I also think she said that we are all going to get lunch like the whole creative team so that could be fun. Um, like I said everyone's like super friendly and inviting and welcoming which is just very appreciated because you know it's obviously intimidating being a new person at the company it's like being the new girl at school tonight is the day that i'm meeting up with my friend simran and we're gonna go get dinner i'm not really sure where yet i still want to hit up polly's um so if we don't go there for lunch we'll probably go there for dinner 
uh, but I think lunch may be just like something super close and fast. I'm supposed to be at work at 9 and I've been getting up at like 7.30, which is nice because I don't feel rushed. The light sucks in here, but I'm just going to try to show you guys. This is one of the outfits I picked up from Style Encore. I went shopping in my last vlog, so if you want to check that out, you can click the link down below. Um, but it's nice because it like cinches in at the waist, so it really shows off my curves without being like too inappropriate. It just doesn't make me super boxy. I wish it had pockets though. I was like literally trying to find the pockets and it doesn't. So that's the only thing I don't like about this dress. On the way here, my suitcase was like 25 pounds, which is honestly like very surprising to me because I feel like I overpacked for this trip. I brought like so many like random like comfy clothes that I barely even wore, um, but Thank God it's 25 pounds because obviously I have to bring my work computer home. I'm going to chill a little and then head on over to the office. Starts every single day. Look at this mini The girl just finished her first week of work. It's crazy. Can't believe it went so fast, honestly. Um, and I mean, yeah, it was overwhelming at times, but I feel like... It wasn't that bad. I feel like I was a lot more nervous than I had to be. And I'm really excited. Um, I've not even done training yet. There's still like some courses I have to take, but I got through one of the big courses today. Um, so I got that out of the way, which was nice. And now I'm gonna go put on some comfy clothes and wait till my friend Simran picks me up. We're going to Polly's, so I'm really excited about that. It's like my main thing I always have to eat when I'm here in Athens. I'm back in the hotel room in my comfies, but cute because this is just a sweater, but I feel like this turtleneck is really just like large. <laughs> Maybe I washed it weird or something, but I just want to give you guys an overall of my first week at work. Again, this is pretty much my first job um, after graduation. It's been 10 months since graduation. I've been working, but I've been working for myself, so I haven't had like a boss or anyone to like report to. Um, so it definitely is going to be something different and it's gonna be like a big change. Since it is part-time, like 30 hours per week, it's not, like it is slightly flexible, but obviously I'm just gonna try to stay as consistent as possible. Like if something comes up, if I have like a random shoot, like maybe I can like uh, switch around my hours for the week. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything is pretty good. I'm really just excited to like actually get to the creating content part. Like I did more of it today. Um, but I just like want to go ahead and edit videos and like take pictures and um, like do drone work which I need to learn how to fly a drone so that's on my to-do list it's gonna make my videos like 10 times cooler when I figure out how to fly a drone um, my dad gave me his drone because he just wasn't using it and he thought I could use it which I could but I'm just so nervous about flying a drone because First of all, it's expensive. Second of all, I don't want to crash it and have to pay for repairs. I don't know why, but my arms are hurting so bad right now holding this vlogging camera. So I'm just going to end this clip here, but I'll try to vlog when I'm with Simran. I'm with Simran! We're time reunited. Time. Seriously, when's the last time we were with each other? Um, when you came here last to Athens and we went to Starbucks. Right, right, I right. Think. That was that a was long so time ago. I think that's when I first transferred here. Oh, yeah. So much. And we're going to Polly's. I know. Gonna eat so some excited. good food. So. Oh, true. <laughs> I will. This looks so Yummy. Bad. We got some wine. I got Moscato. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Oh, yeah. This is so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Thursday morning, it's 8.15 right now, and my bus to take me to the Atlanta airport comes at 8.30, so I'm gonna go downstairs, check out, and then wait for the bus. It's literally like downpouring outside, and this hotel doesn't really have like an awning, so that's gonna be fun, but my hair's like already wet. I just showered, so I don't really care, like messing up my hair or anything. Um, but my luggage, like I said, it was 25 pounds on the way here. So thank God for that because I was able to stuff in a lot of like random stuff that I got, like my work computer and my like work swag that I got. I got this like water bottle, um, umbrella, like a notepad and stuff like that. Um, but it feels like a lot heavier. I did put one of my camera lenses in there just to like um, make my backpack a little less heavy so hopefully it's under 50 <laughs> but if it's not I mean I can always transfer it back into my backpack no big deal I'll most likely vlog when I'm back in Austin <laughs>
I literally got home at four. I honestly don't know where my house keys are and I forgot that I lost them. So I had to get dropped off um, by an Uber at Oracle where Ryan works and I took his car home. And so now I'm gonna go back, pick him up and then we're gonna get dinner. And then he's gonna drop me at an event that I'm photographing and shooting for video. So literally <laughs> the work does not stop. I've been traveling the whole freaking day because obviously in Athens you have to take a shuttle to the airport. And first of all, the shuttle was late. It was like a good 45 minutes late. And I had to call them and like, be like, hello, like, did this shuttle leave me? Then they told me that it was late. I would've been so annoyed if I would've like stood out there for like more than 20 minutes because it was literally raining and there was nowhere to sit because like all of the cushions were soaked. Anyways, I made it, at least I'm alive and I'm gonna make it to the event. I was honestly kind of worried that like the flight would get delayed. We're good, we're great. This event is like a Valentine's Day thing. I don't remember the last video work I've done for like an actual paid gig. So it shall be interesting. I got my uh, stabilizer charging over there and I think I'm gonna go pick up Ryan because apparently he's getting off early today. I don't know. It is Friday, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I am just gonna end the vlog here because today is a very, very hectic day. I actually got my nails done this morning got um do you take layaway from opi dip on my nails and i did like this new shape i always get like square um and i cut them a little bit i thought i would do a little bit of a switch up <laughs> because my nails were just getting really really long i could barely button my own shirts and it was just getting out of control um but yeah these are my real nails i've never gotten like tips or like uh, acrylics or anything like that um i have been doing laundry all morning um, and now I'm getting to the event last night and I totally forgot to vlog. Obviously when you're in a, at an event, like getting hired to take pictures and videos, especially cause it was both, I didn't really have time to just like chill. So I didn't vlog at all, but, um, you guys can watch this video. It will definitely be up, um, by the time this vlog goes up, you can watch this video. I'll try to link it down below. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to post it on my YouTube channel or... Um, if I have to link it to someone else's social media um, because it, it was pretty much like a boudoir party. Boudoir photography is like taking photos of like women. They could be naked, they could be like in their lingerie. I don't really know what the definition is, but basically like um, very sexy photos. There was a photographer there taking just solely boudoir and then I was just kind of giving like a, an event recap and then there was like, uh, what's it called? Chair dancing? That sounds really wrong. Like chair dancing hmm. maybe that's what it's called um and just like other cool things um and it was really cool to just see like all these women be so confident i asked this one girl if like she was like okay with me videoing her and she was like like okay sure and i was just like oh my god i would totally say no i think but then also like first of all if you have a good body like Obviously, you'd probably want to show it off. Um, but then also, she was only in like a bra and panties, which is pretty much a bikini. And so I feel like it's not that much different, but I guess the posing is like definitely sexier than like a bikini photo. Um, but anyways, I thought it was like a really cool event. They got their hair and makeup done. You could see these women feel so confident. And I, it, it was like kind of inspiring because I'm not very confident like in that way, like being sexy and stuff. So I just thought it was really cool. Um, and I guess it kind of opened my eyes to like boudoir photography because I've always been like not very into it um, But I don't know. I feel like it could definitely be something that I'd be a little bit more open to just because I got a little taste of it um, So yeah, that's a little update on the event last night. We are going to Los Angeles tonight, so we literally land at like 12 midnight or 1 a.m. I don't even know my grandma is picking me up from LAX and Ryan, because Ryan's coming with. Sophie is staying here in Austin um, with a friend, so shout out to Taylor, she's taking care of Sophie. I still have to pack and all that, but I kind of just want to start on this video. I actually chopped it up. It was like at 40 minutes of footage or like almost an hour, I can't really remember. But now it's down to three minutes. I did all the chopping last night and now I'm going to make the cuts go on the beat, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to edit this video. And I have so many vlogs to edit. And I honestly wanted to like keep my laptop here because I know I'm not gonna have time in LA and I feel like it's just like a waste of space to bring it. But then I'm thinking like, oh my God, I just have so many like vlogs of like my own to edit and there's just too much to do and not enough time. So 
I don't know, we'll see. I'll get it done some way, somehow. Look out for the LA vlog. Um, I'm really excited to go. I'm really excited to take Ryan and just show him everywhere. Um, if you guys aren't already following my Instagram, I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot, especially on stories. Um, so go ahead and follow that, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. It is February 15th, and we are still in Austin. We were supposed to be in LA today. Um, we were supposed to fly into LAX last night and some shit went down literally the day of. I'm gonna let Ryan take this away because he like knew more about what was going on. So, yeah. <laughs> so basically, we booked the tickets. It was like pretty cheap. It'd be like 350 for both of us to go, which isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. And the next day I was looking at the flight again and it dropped like $100 <clears throat> and you can cancel within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'll just cancel it and rebuy it. We can spend that money on other things, like an Airbnb or dinner or something. Mm -hmm. So I canceled it, booked the next flight for the same day, same time, everything. And I got my confirmation code, and I was like, whatever, I'll just check in the day of. I was, everything was normal. Because that's how it usually yeah, is. Yeah, <laughs> I came for lunch. I was like, oh, I need to pack. And then I went back to work, and I was like, oh, I need to check in, just so we get a good seat. And... When I went to check in, the status was like canceled. And I was like, what the hell, like why? So I did my credit card statement and I'd been charged for the full amount. And I was like, okay, why is this canceled? Mm -hmm. So I had her reach out a few times. So annoying. And myself reach out. And um, apparently the billing address wasn't correct mm -hmm. for one credit card, but it charged the other credit card. Mm -hmm. And we didn't get a new confirmation code for that credit card. So they sold our tickets to the, like, Someone so I was on the phone for over three hours trying to get them to answer me. Well, more because if you include my time with them. <laughs> yeah. And it was a computer error. Yeah. So Cause like, it, should even, have called family and be like, hey, sorry, computer error. Yeah, was I was like, really up. upset. I obviously cried because I was like shaking. I mean, we both like, he was at work. So that was like another factor that made me so annoyed just because I couldn't like communicate with him in the time of like, you know, this like situation um and I was like shaking I like I don't know I was just like so frustrated and like upset that this happened I was obviously really excited to go to California my whole mom's family lives there and he was gonna meet like my whole extended family and like they like you know had all this like um stuff planned for us yeah like we, we were gonna go to my uncle's house for dinner and like they already had the whole menu, like everyone was bringing something and I felt so bad when they told me that. I was like, oh, <laughs> but I mean, I know that stuff happens for a reason. I'm not sure like what that reason was, but I'm just trying to be a little bit positive about the situation. Like we booked the ticket one week from like the, when the flight was gonna go. Weekend, what? February 7th and this was the 14th. Yeah, so. I mean, it was kind of like a rush trip, so my family was like, yeah, like, next time you come, you definitely have to, like, stay for longer and stuff like that. I mean, I just started a new job, so I don't know how realistic staying longer is going to be. Ryan had this Monday off, so he wanted to go somewhere, and it's just really sad. Like, I just wanted to take him and, like, uh, explore California and see my family, and I was, like, just really freaking upset about it. <laughs> I mean, as you could imagine, especially, like, finding out the day of the flight. I was like livid. We didn't mention the airlines that this happened on, but I bet you guys can guess. So I'm gonna take five seconds and let you guys comment down below and uh, see okay. who gets it right. <laughs> so the airlines was Spirit Airlines. Shocker. Me and Ryan have flown with Spirit so many times and honestly nothing bad has ever really happened during our flights or like before that and after um so yeah we were just like really upset because we like love spirit and we love how cheap it is but this was just like so annoying to have to deal with obviously um so yeah that is the story of why we aren't in LA today and why you guys won't be seeing LA vlogs and I'm just so sad about that last night we went to Whole Foods and we literally bawled out because we were just like eating our feelings so we bought like Fish, we bought scallops, we got steak, like so many random things and Happy. it was a fun night and I made cocktails and stuff like that so we had fun. Yeah, I fell asleep during the new all to all the boys I've ever lo or loved. What? <laughs> Ryan said that's how good it was but I was just so tired because like obviously I was drinking. Drinking makes me so sleepy so fast <laughs> but I definitely need to watch that movie on my own time. Did you really finish it or like no? I doubt you watched. 
What? I turned off his bad. Okay, good. <laughs> so we can finish it yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs>